with Rocky Horror Picture. I mean, there's some great, great stuff there. How do you get into that mindset to step out there? It's a whole new thing. Um, how do you get in the mindset to like put on the heels? Like, that's a, uh, I, I'm, I'm not the best equipped to explain that. You are the best equipped to explain Me? That. Well, because it's different for anyone how someone would become Frankenfurter. For me, it was a long awaited opportunity to salute one of my favorite artists in the world. Right. And that's, that's all that, and that came through obviously the fact that that Rocky Horror Picture Show is for the LGBTQT community and for youth communities and for just like culture, for pop cult culture is the beacon of hope for how something can survive, you know, like truly survive. Rocky Horror Picture Show still happens in every town every week at midnight yeah. on Saturday. And you know, you're gonna have these counterparts of culture that are gonna show out to show pride at Rocky Horror Picture Show no, no matter what. So it's kind of, yeah, for me that was like, uh, I was very grateful to even be able to do that. And I had this moment where I was like, I might do Rocky Horror Picture Show forever. Just that's it. That might be it. Because <laughs> they, after I did Frankenfurter, they made this all, they were like, listen, you should come back and do it on Saturday. You should play Frankenfurter. You could be like our guest. And it flashed through my mind. I had like the synactic flat. Oh my God. And then like every city and I could do, I could play Frankenfurter or Riff Raff. And then I was like, okay, wait a second. No, I can't do it. Center yourself. I can't do okay. It. Last thing I wanted to ask you about, I was talking with Johnny Simmons just before, the cafeteria scene. Talk about an emotional, emotional that, scene. Man. You fought for that. I mean, talk to me about that. Yeah, Johnny Simmons and I, you know, that was everything for both of our characters. You have this, such a, a collision of really what Johnny and I started deciding was like these two people self-loathing, attacking each other's self-loathing. And so when the stunt choreographer said, we don't want this to be too dangerous, we got angry because we're like, no, no, no. it's our self-loathing fighting his self-loathing, fighting my self-loathing. Like, it's going to just, whatever will happen. And Johnny actually apparently injured himself. He said that. Or I injured him, or we injured him. It was hard. We all got bruises. It was like, that's how you make a fight. That's how you make a fight. If you really want to make a fight. And that's, I've made fights before in movies, and it happens the same way. You plan something with a story, stunt choreographer. That's all well and good. And then you get to it, and it's like, whatever happens, it's a fight. So to make a fight happen, you can do it quarter speed, but you're still, like, tumbling to the ground or... Yeah. Well, it really came off well. The whole film, Thank you. really it's awesome. Good so, to hear again. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, really nice talking with you. you Congratulations. Too, Welcome back to the MTV Movie Awards Punked Pre-Party. As you can see, I'm on a very crowded patio with three awesome actors, Emma Watson, Ezra Miller, Logan Norman, the stars of Perks of Being a Wallflower. I was telling Logan earlier, congratulations on the movie, guys. Amazing. Uh, and this is big for you, for all of you, but Emma, first American accent in a film. I feel like I helped you out. Uh, how did you nail it? Um, I had these guys. These guys were very supportive, and they told me when I said things that didn't really sound right. And... Uh, no, I, I mean, I worked with a, with a coach, and I, I just, like, yeah, I hung out. <laughs> how'd she do? She like, hung out. She hung out. That's, all, that's how she did it. She hung out. <laughs> Can you quickly give me a little Ryan Gosling is so hot in American? Ryan Gosling is so hot. She nailed it. She's amazing. Yeah, dude, that was really All right. Good. We've that been teasing awesome. it long enough. Here is your exclusive trailer, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Enjoy. I am here with Ezra, who's going to explain to me this balloon. Oh, it says nothing loves you. Uh... Character. Yeah, well, okay, I will explain it. You're right. I you should. should explain it because this is actually it. a fashion prop, the first so far on first the movie awards. First fashion award. prop? The first fashion prop. That's almost on the movie an awards. explanation in oh, and of oh, itself. Oh, wait, wait, there's, there's a fish behind you. Don't look. I, I looked, and you told me not to, and Sorry. I feel like, is it, that, is it a problem you. to look at a fish? Is I that tricked you. I love what you're custom? wearing. Thank you. Thank you. This is um, actually the producer, of our, the producer of our film makes this and this and gave it to me That's for amazing. Free. I love that. And these beads are yours? These beads, yes, are mine. It's kind I, of like a spiritual situation going on here. Deep. You mean it's not physical? Yes. I mean, this is physical. No, it's it's physical. It's yeah. physical. So explain the balloon real quick. Inner sank. Oh, sorry. Um, I explain the balloon. Nothing loves you. It's uh, Patrick, my character in the movie that I'm here to show the trailer of. Right. Perks of Being a Wallflower. Yes. Uh, People call him nothing his whole life. Right. Um, 
Because he's gay. Right. So that's hard. And like, and this is like 1992 America. It's not much easier. Right. In 2012 America, but like 1992 America was. It was still pretty hard to be gay in high school. So people called him nothing his whole life. So when he graduates, you know, well, I won't give anything away. I don't want to give anything don't away. Don't give it away, I've but I'm actually so really excited away. to see this. Uh, we actually have the a trailer. special trailer. Yeah, we have the trailer here today. We're showing the trailer We're today. showing the trailer, never before here. seen. It has here. not, I haven't seen it. Yeah, no, I know. I hear it's good, Neither though. is Logan. Logan hasn't Logan seen it. Logan hasn't seen, seen it, it, we haven't seen but it. But everyone at home will be seeing it before Bef you. Before me. Before you. How does that make like, you feel? Because I'll be like, turn the other way. Anyways, I love your prop. Uh, I, I feel like she's in cahoots with you. Why? Uh, Why? Because she has also... Something also that's inflatable? You think all people inflatable are involved in some sort of conspiracy? A little bit. You're a little, like, whoo, with the spiritual conspiracy theories. Like, I think you should go, Ezra. I th I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... It's all right. I think you should go.